you know, another fascinating thing you did bring up before I want to bring up is this idea of frequencies is, mm-hmm. is there are different frequencies. So you have the light itself, but you have also frequency basically going on there that could be anywhere from zero to, I think, thousands of different hertz. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a, a wide variety of them. I mean, the big ones for you know, the brain in general are we have a delta, uh, we have theta, um, beta, alpha, uh, and gamma. Uh, delta, just for, you know, just for simpl- simpl- simplification of, you know, where those things fall and, you know, delta and theta are more involved with sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, alpha and beta and gamma are more involved in why we're awake. Um, a alpha is more involved in more of a meditative, you know, kind of being present kind of state where our, the beta and gamma are really the ones where we're doing our work. Mm-hmm. And so we'll often, uh, with patients do, and, and this, and, and there is no right or wrong. Well, I just, I don't know where I'd say we're wrong, but I mean, I mean, we don't know, but we can mess around with how we're doing this. And we're off now we're switching in between. And I got it from, um, another one of the inventors of, of, uh, the literature technology because they had an alpha and a gamma unit mm-hmm. that, you know, the unit itself attached to a box to put out alpha waves. Right. And so we started saying, well, if they're doing that, then when we try to do that with, with the helmet here and switching over and so alpha roughly around, you know, 10 Hertz, just to get, you know, a certain number and gamma more like 40, it can be a little less than that and switching those up. But then beyond the brain waves, we have a whole spectrum of frequencies. I mean, there's even a pretty famous acupuncturist. He's still, he's a German, Dr. Bohr, who has all these different frequencies. He actually will use on acupuncture needles on patients mm-hmm. during, treatments. you know, on, on other parts of the body, not, not just the brain. So we've got, uh, I think a long ways ago in trying to, you know, pick all these different frequencies that might exist that could help the brain outside of even the ones that normally exist in our brainwave patterns um, for affecting the health and, and improving healing. Yeah, the, the, there are so many, again, unknowns when you talk about the complexity of the brain and what we're finding out, even though there's so much research, but it's like, it's just the tip of the iceberg, right? Yeah. I mean, we have it, neurosurgeons and brain surgeons. I mean, they're doing some, some phenomenal work. Um, but the deeper areas of the brain, you know, where, where, does, where does thought and, and the mind live at? You know, is it out around us? You know? Yeah. All have, of us have, together, you know? 